Today, we are taking on the number one team in the NHL, and for some reason, that team is the Columbus Blue Jackets. Welcome back to another episode of Be a Pro with Rostislav Nastrov. Yes, the Blue Jackets are 21-3-1. Maybe not just the best team in the league right now, but the best team of all time. I have no idea what went down in the offseason to make this happen, and today, we're going to find out what trade did they make? Who did they sign? How is it possible that a middle-of-the-road team is now 21-3-1? In our last episode, I gotta say, we started to heat up a little bit. Rusty finally learned to deke. We hit him with a little toey, a little Matthews drag. Oh my gosh, Rusty? Rusty, a little toe drag? <gasps> oh! I was going to sim this game, but I feel like this one is a little bit too big to miss. So we are going to go into this thing. We are putting our heart on the line. This may as well be a Stanley Cup Game 7 game, and we're going to come out on top. But before we get into this video, I got to give a big thanks to our sponsor, SeatGeek. You guys know him. You guys love him. SeatGeek is 100% the best way to purchase tickets online, whether it's sports, concerts, festivals, you name it, they have it. Last weekend, I was in Las Vegas, and at the last second, our schedule freed up and let us get to the nhl all-star skills comp i hopped on SeatGeek. no joke i got tickets for 21 dollars. so any hockey game you're going to hop on the SeatGeek app check it out for yourself the green dots are good deals the red dots not so good deals so get out there and enjoy yourselves i got the hookup for you guys you can get 20 dollars off your first SeatGeek order using promo code nasher that's 20 dollars off your first purchase using promo code nasher click the link in the description below to download the SeatGeek app today Again, big thanks to SeatGeek for sponsoring us. Now back to the show. All right, so looking at their players, they have Wierenski, they have Line. That makes sense. Jonathan Gario. This man has every single X factor, and he's a 77 overall defenseman. Where did he come from? I don't know. Why is he so good? I do not know. There is no way that Jonathan Gario is the reason that the Blue Jackets are 21-3-1. Like, there has to be some missing pieces in there. You know, like something happened over the offseason, and today we're going to find out what it is. Hopping in to shift number one. Our boy Rostislav Nastrov back in action and looking for some... That's some of the weirdest stick handling I've seen. We are looking for a little something here. Rusty with a banger. Little toe -y. If we body Domi, knocked off his helmet, went down there, did a Matthews drag, I would have just cried myself to sleep. Good, good tears, though. Of course, good tears. Oh, baby. Rusty is playing. Rusty is playing angry. Wierenski sits down as well. Holy, dude. I'm telling you. I'm taking this like it's game. Oh, my gosh. What a bat down from Wierenski. That was actually nasty. I'm telling you, I'm treating this like game seven. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We are putting our body on the line. We are willing to get injured, and we are willing to stand up for our teammates. How are we just gonna let him walk in like that, dude? Patty Line just walked into the slot untouched. There were two defenders sitting there watching him enter. He rips the clap bomb and it goes in. And just like that, we are down 1-0 to start. First period, you know, we got off to a slow start. Actually, you know, we didn't even get off to a slow start. We went out there, we we had some nice plays, we had some big hits, and then our defense got off to a table start. So we're gonna try to keep this keep this rolling. Nice shot there, Rusty. I mean, could it have been a little bit less of a muffin? Yes, but still a good shot nonetheless. Yeah, this Blue Jackets team, I mean, they have not made a single move in the offseason to, to somehow take the team from, you know, this, this year. Let's be honest, they're not doing great. They're not doing great at all. And they have somehow made this team into a 21-3-7 number one team in the league sort of team. So that just goes to show, you know, no matter what the lineup is, no matter how down you may be at any point, your team can have a good season. And maybe that will be true for the Seattle Kraken right here, right now. <gasps> Let's go! Domskoy! Domskoy, how does he look me off there? Dom and then he gives me a terrible pass and I'm just stuck. Okay, you know what? One more hit. Hold on. <gasps> Rusty! Backdoor! What a play, Rusty! That is why we don't get off the ice! Our coach was calling for us. The bar was at nothing. What do we do? We go to the corner, we bump him off the puck, we take it to the net, and good things happen. Let's go, boys. We are taking down this number one team. Like I said, this is Stanley Cup Game 7 to me. I'm taking down the hometown team. You guys know I'm a big Blue Jackets fan. I, listen, usually I'd love to see them doing well, being 21-3-1 and one, or whatever they are. 
but not today. Okay, the Seattle Kraken are our boys. Rostislav Nashrov, please. Oh my gosh, that, that's a nasty setup, dude. We kind of look like we know what we're doing a little bit out here. I'm gonna sit mid slot. Good shot, good, good, good little block there from Gabby. He apparently does not want the puck. We're gonna go behind the net. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try something here. Okay, Gabby's not gonna let me do that. I tried to get one off in the last few seconds of the game. We'll go to the net here looking for a shot. Another good shot, but it will not go. And we go to the first intermission tied at one. Lots of action, lots of big hits. A nice little play from Rusty leading to the goal. We are flying right now. I think our main guy to watch in this game, truthfully, is just, it's just lining. This man has been carrying the Columbus Blue Jackets for the entirety of this season. Every single time he gets a shot mid-slot, it's going in. I, I just felt like I could see that coming. Like, he just trucked through three guys along the boards, made his way up the ice, and boom, it's game over. 2-1. I mean, listen, I know Lana, he's, he's been heating up a little bit in real life, but I don't think he's scoring on that shot right there. Like, that's just a, a mid-slot muffin. And he's coming out here just scoring every single shot that he takes. Let's go, Rusty. A little bit of wheels. Wojcicki does get a bump on me, but not enough. Rusty with a little spin-o. And I might be injured. We are somehow still alive. All right, it's time to take line A out. If our defense isn't going to take line A out, I'm going to be the one that has to do it. I'm going to walk in, a little fake clap, top right. That's a nice play. Open up, you know, it, it kind of got the defender to shift over a little bit. Open up that top right. I want to get a quick rush, you know? Like, I feel like this is where Rusty, true. this is where Rusty strives. All right, we're going to go in, a little between the legs. Those quick rushes, you know, we make our one move, we get the shot. The only person that we have to watch is line A. We watch want line A. We shut him down. Good things happen. Here's Rusty. Our boy taking a hit, making a play. We're going to find that back door. And Eberly does not get a stick on it. Wide open in front, too. And here's the legend, Jonathan Guerrero. The absolute goat that has come out of nowhere. Apparently, that was apparently that was the Blue Jackets draft pick. We got Gabby. Not going to let that go. And here we go. A little rush. Rusty, one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to go inside. Out. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. I thought Rusty learned how to deep, but apparently not. There's Line again. Okay, finally Line A gets a shot, and it does not end up in the back of the net. I feel like this game right here is a bit of a test. You know, Rusty, he doesn't score in he doesn't score in big games against big opponents. It feels like we can rally up, you know, three or four goals when we're playing a bad team. But when we take on a good team, we need to prove that Rusty can get the job done as well and that will do it for the second period so again patty line apparently the reason that these guys are number one in the league is patrick line out here popping off the score is two to one line with two big goals rusty with one big assist but it's time to get on the board like i said we are scoring in big games we are scoring big goals and we are going to at the very minimum force this game to overtime all right boys no one messing around can we step up on line see what i'm saying like for some reason our team just our team just let this man walk in. What a save, Inichek. I'm telling you now, if we win this draw, I'm flying up the board. Here we go. What a pass. A beautiful read. <gasps> Spino. Nice. That's, a, that's actually a good spin-o. I've, I've been trying to use the spin at the right time instead of just spamming it every time I get into the zone. And that one was the right time. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because every shot that they get, it's not going into the net. Zach Wierenski sitting there mid-slot, winds up a little one to you, and it ends up hop right over Vanacek's shoulder. And of course, it, I guess this makes sense. Coach is a little upset. This is a close game and we need the next goal. Are you up for it? I told you guys I struggle to score in these big games, but today is the day that that changes. I'm scoring this next one. Coach, leave me on the ice. Good things will happen. All right, boys, let's go here, okay? Let's turn up a little. What is that bump? Wojcicki, Wojcicki, sit down! Oh my, what a poke, dude. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna take our time here. Take our time, Rusty, between the legs. Trying to find that right corner between the legs. I like that effort, Russ. I like that effort. For some reason at the bottom there, it says we're offside. Um, you know, we've had three whistles since that offside thing has been there and it is going to remain there for the rest of the game. Apparently, Wojcicki, go ahead and sit down, buddy. All right, we're going right up the middle. Everly just, a, he's a little bit too late on the passes, you know? Oh, sit down the back okay and then i trip over him as i'm going for the hit
<laughs> Let's go, baby. That is what we needed. Okay, we just needed one goal. Now Rusty can be the hero, and it's going to be four on four as well. I don't know if we're going to be going to the power play in 10 seconds or if they are, but I will tell you that... All right, they, they, they may be going to the power play um, after that one. Rusty, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I got out of the bench, and I saw Line skate towards me. Did I take a few extra strides? Maybe. Was it worth it? 100%. I will do that all day. And just like that, we are back to 4-2. And, and I am being sent out on the ice on a 5-on-3 as well. So they scored. Not only did they score a goal, there was an additional penalty on the Seattle Kraken as well. Because we we did not personally get scored on during our penalty. All right. Let's get it, let's get the boys back into it. A little comeback victory here. Okay. I'm getting sweaty. I don't, I don't care how I have to score. I'm going to score by whatever means necessary. And if that means Rusty taking it to the net, holding it to the back. Dude, if I would have got injured there, I would have just never played Be a Pro again. You heard it here first. All right, let's go again. One, one last rush, Lewis. Lewis, what is up with these late passes? We're gonna do a little side step with Rust. I love this look. I love this look. Rusty around the net. We got three guys on us. We're killing some power play. This team is lost right now, dude. And all hopes at a comeback are slowly dwindling away every time rusty goes to the bench a goal goes into the back of the net five two with five minutes left yes there is still a chance a hope at a comeback but it is looking slim all right we got to show that we can score in these big games for coach let's go here <gasps> feed me yep bang what a play what a play boys hey now it's just two now it's just two you can see that play developing a beautiful look little bang 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 this is the one thing I will say. I do not want Coach to pull our goaltender. Every time we have pulled... So that's a bit of a force. Every time we pull our goaltender, something bad happens. I am going to take a long shift here as well to secure at least one goal. What did he just do? What did he do? We had the puck in the corner and Flurry goes in there and bodies somebody. The puck was literally on our stick. That is the reason that we are going to lose this game. I was feeling the comeback. We were buzzing. We had full energy. And just like that, it's all out the window because of Flurry. What a joke. Watch this. Goal into the back of the net in three. Okay, no goal. Two, two, 14, two goals. Let's go. All right, we are staying on the ice. We are staying on the ice for the rest of this game, no matter what. Okay, nice save. Let's go, boys. Okay, Everly. We're going to go up to the wing. Gord with a nice little look. Bang. What a play, Yanni Gord. What a play. And we are back. Okay, never give up, boys. Never give up. We killed off the dumbest penalty of the year. We get back onto the ice and goal. Nice win. Flurry. Holy, I'm feeling something here. We have a bit of... And just like that, one poke check, one single poke check from behind has nearly ruined our chances at a comeback. That's one of the most selfish plays that I have ever witnessed in a hockey game. You know, we had to get a little bit aggressive. I didn't want them to get down the ice and be able to kill some clock. But to do it like that, Karasislav Nashrov, just a selfish, selfish play. Are you kidding me? I have never had more faith in this hockey team than to somehow pull out a short-handed goal with 30 seconds on the clock to tie this up and to let Rusty get one last chance. A little bit of a force. We're gonna have to step on him here. We're gonna have to step on him here. Nice step. Let's go, Larson. Nice. 20 seconds on the clock. Ross Rostovic does miss it. We have 15 seconds. We're gonna have one last rush here. Larson with a beautiful pass. Everly! 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 Oh my god! What is that? Everly! How do you do? Walks in short-handed with nine seconds on the clock. Just rams Elvis, but it doesn't matter. The goal will count. The crack in our time. And we are still alive. Let's go. Dude, there's absolutely no... Imagine, imagine we get scored on the last five. Imagine line it. 
What, what a pick. Let's go, baby. And we are still alive. One minute left on the PK until Rostislav Nastrov emerges from the box, skates right on down, and buries the goal. The game-winning goal. Oh, I forgot it's going to be full on three. This could be trouble. They've got Lane Rosovic. Probably. This could be big trouble. Nice poke. Let's go. Okay, we are not going to sim this one just in case. We could get another shorty goal. Get Everly on the ice. And another shorty is certainly in the making. All right, 20 seconds. Rosovic. There's Lane. Nice save. Vanacek. Vanacek gets his first save of the game on Lane. There we go. All right, two, one. Here comes Rot. No, no. What <gasps> poke? Let's go, Rusty. Rusty with a little bit of wheels. Okay, we got Bork straight on the side. We're going to toe drag. Ah, that toe drag was almost nasty. Please, coach. I beg. Leave Rusty on the ice. All right, we got Larson, Yanni Gord, and Rostislav Nastrov. I think this might be my first ever time playing three on three here in Via Pro. And we are going to make the most of it. Here comes Rusty. I do not want to be the guy to lose this puck. So, okay, we lost the puck. No. Where's our D? Where, where did he go? Who was that? Gio or Larson? I, ha I have to watch. I, I just, I'm at a loss of words. We lost the draw and our, our defender, again, I'm not sure who it was. He was on the left side and he just went straight to the board. Let them have a breakaway. Let Roslovic walk in and let him bury it. That is the biggest joke I have ever seen. I'm thinking about going to my GM and demanding a trade at this very instant. Are you out of your mind? Overtime versus the best team in the league. We have a chance to win after a hero goal from Everly. And this is how it ends. You have got to be kidding. So please just enlighten me on this play as to what happened. So they're going to win the... Okay, actually, we win the draw. I, I do get it right to that. Me and Yanni go to Wierenski. That's fine. What, what's happening here? What, where is our D? He is going into the corner, and yes, Jack Roslovic walks in alone, untouched, no one on him. We can't get a same for Vanacek, and just like that, the game is over. Wow. Dude, I'm so rattled after that one. That was such a good game, such a nasty comeback. We got the penalty. It seemed like it was all over. Everly comes back. And then it ends just like that, dude. Terrible defense on our end. It is unfortunate, but you know what the good news is? We're going to see the Columbus Blue Jackets in the Stanley Cup Final. That's probably the next time that we will play that team. As we take a look at the standings, it is starting to look a little scary. We are in the last wildcard spot here in the Pacific Division. I want to see what those Columbus Blue Jackets are up to. 22-3-1. You can see they are just above and beyond every team in this league. So we will hope to meet them again in the future that is gonna do it for today's sad episode of be a pro if you still somehow enjoyed it make sure you hit the video with a like to let me know hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 1 million subscribers i'm nasher and i'm out peace